สวัสดีครับ I'm Arawan Habib Sadeh and welcome to be my guest the program that brings you successful stories of institution and entrepreneur in both international and domestic arena in today's episode we'll be talking to our guest from Chenapat International Design Institute who will be share with us their experience and collection with us today Today we are with our special guest. May you introduce yourself, please? Yes. Uh, my name is Natia s u t a t a n I'm a designer, founder, and creative director of brand Nadine j d i n Wow. So let's start. Wait. Can you first tell us what it's like to be part of this institute? Like. Oh, it is. It was my pleasure and honor because um, I think this is a great institute that I. Had the chance to to study here, and they have like a great program, international program, and all the teachers are like really yeah, well educated. Yeah, and and it's it's great. It's fantastic. And how many pieces of your work are shown here today? Um, today I prepare six outfits. Yeah, six of them. in total. Um, and uh, the collection is called Memoir of Wilderness. Wow. So it basically represents kind of the voice for the forest. You know, we have this issue with the uh, killing animals right now, and, uh, and I, wow. as, as a fashion designer, I would like to adapt. yeah adapt and kind of speak for it a little bit. Yeah, and it and it's um, has been the concept of our brand too. So basically, the. Main concept of this, it's all about like the nature. And stuff. Yes, yes, yes. And what is your inspiration of being part of this? Like, why you love fashion? Oh, um, before I, my background was yeah. landscape architect, and I always work with nature, I and I love nature, and I love designing, and at one point I wanna do something that I can express my imagination and creative creativity. I'm sorry, yeah. without really like. Think a lot about others. You know, the architectural work requires like a lot of collaboration. Yeah. And designing clothing, it's basically like you're as a designer and the customers. So either they like it or they don't. So yeah, it's happier for me. <laughs> and do you have any highlight dress? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, I have the uh, because um. Uh, What does it look like? The color. Oh, the Why, color. Yeah. Of course, it's Why it's special for you. Yeah, because we want to do memoir of wilderness, right? So the colors derived from the forest. It's like green, uh, the water, blue, and the you know baits of um, flowers yeah. and and the uh, leaves. So it has yellow and blue shades of that, and and overall, yeah. Yeah, I know that you're gonna work so hard. So, how about like being part of this? How do you feel like after you see your clothes up there? How do you feel? You're proud of yourself. I'm very proud. I slept like 
maybe four hours last night. Like you need to sacrifice a lot. Right? Yeah, yeah, but but I I For love doing long? it. Can you tell me how long since the first process till it's? Oh, it it's actually the you know designing stuff. It required um, practicing a lot because you know like you have to kind of start to know the shapes and the uh, fabrics that how would you like them to describe your own image and your brand so I kind of like collect little by little and kind of practice a lot until yeah. like yeah today so it's quite a lot and a lot do of you work. have like any recommendation for other people that wants to join this institute like for other kids that they're looking and they're like wants to be like you one day yeah yeah of course um, I think but first of all you, you gotta have a lot of responsibility but yeah, of course of all, yeah 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 right? but of course everyone needs to right yeah. and if you have your um, imagination and creativity and you want to learn like how to put it into clothing or design I would highly recommend yeah and uh, how do you see the fashion industry in Thailand is heading to in which direction I mean I think um, for, from my experience so far, I, I didn't have that much experience though, but I think we are quite open. We have lots of styles and, and we, unlike any other countries around us, I think we have great opportunity. Yeah, we can exactly. dress like as weird as we want and we welcome, you know, third genders and all that kind of exactly. stuff. So, so the market is huge. is huge. Yeah, of course. And do you see any like potential of this new brand that will become international brand one day, like um, with other brands as well? Uh, other brands, um, I think. Which one is your favorite apart from? Apart from brand? myself, right? <laughs> um, I think uh, I like uh, Pila, of course. Mm -hmm. He's well known already. Yeah, yeah and Chita Studio. Yeah. They do that, yeah. you know, hand painting. I see. Yeah. Last but not least, can you sure. tell, like? advise some new generation that if one day they want to be like you or they are kind of interested in this field yeah yeah, yeah. i'm should, not there yet though but yeah, but, but, but i'm i'm trying to getting there <laughs> um my advice is i think uh for new generation is it very much our responsibility to not only think about ourselves anymore because the world is changing and it required a lot of people's responsibility to take care of that and um, I think for me, my brand is like, I try to speak for something else, for nature, not for... Like yeah, not like no, stuff, but you yeah, just want to speak through right, your brand. Yeah, of course, I want to go green, like totally green someday, if, so if, if, my, yeah, if I could. So um, I would love to see our new generations starting to do that and, and think about what could help because it's like, really need some help right yeah. now yeah and what do you want to say about your brand like to other people that watching about my uh, your brand oh uh, my brand um like definition of your brand definition of my brand would be uh of course i love nature i would yeah. like to bring the nature into fashion the slogan of my brand is the um Secret garden is in your wardrobe, so ah. you can feel like my nice clothing. Work. Yeah, it's kind of like when when you go to the very like lush garden with, yeah. with lots of flowers, and it's Colorful. very refreshing. Yeah, I, I would like to our customers to feel that way when even just look at or wear our brands. So, okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So let's have a short break. We'll come back and talk more. Sure. And today we're here at Bangkok International Fashion Week 2018 with another talented, young, nice designer. May you introduce yourself, please? Swadika. My name is Tanakon Sitiwawanit. And I can call you Sam, Sam, right? Yes. Yeah, I've heard that you used to study at Chanapat International Design Institute. Yes. Can um, you tell about your story while you study the environment at school? Firstly, I choose this school because yeah, the reason they, why you choose this yeah, school. Okay. They, they, they have an uh, instructor, the teacher, yeah. that come from like Italian. Oh. Like most, most of them are European, uh, international teacher. So the environment that built us to become 
to become like a fashion creator. Yeah. yeah. So it's like more international and in Thailand, it's not so many institute that using the t-shirt that come from yeah, the European country. I see. And you face any difficulties study there at first year? It's yeah. hard. It's very hard. It's quite hard. So you actually, start from actually, I'm graduate from engineer. Ah. Oh. So my background is like totally yeah, different. totally different. But yeah, I I like I I am the kind of person that like to dress and mm -hmm. like to choose the clothing like like love fashion. Before went to school, I just be like the guys that love fashion. Yes, yeah, but yeah. after graduate, it's like the one that create fashion. And since when you know that you love fashion, how old are you that back in that day? Wow, <laughs> it's very, quite hard to tell because like it's learn day by day. Yeah, actually, my my family was start like doing the garment factory, mm -hmm. so I'm kind of like being in this environment since all the time. Oh. So. Like kind of absorb it yeah, since absorb you're so young. Every day, yeah. Yeah, so now you're here at Bangkok International Fashion Week for the first time, right? Yes, for the first time. How do you feel? For me and my brand. How do I'm you feel? Actually, very really excited of and course. very proud to be the part of CIDI and be the part of Bangkok International Fashion Week. So can you please tell us about your collection? What's the name of the collection and what it's all about? What is the inspiration behind this brand? I would like to tell the inspiration first. Okay. The inspiration from this for this collection, uh, we get inspired from the African festival. Oh, nice. Yeah, and the core value of our brand, I mean the concept of our brand, is the cross culture and experiment. Nice. So we use this our value, right? Our concept to cross with the African that we get inspired from. Oh, and then we experience like experiment in the design like print like screen like oh, embroidery nice. and also we twist the design the silhouette mm -hmm. everything from the african culture that we that we get inspired from to oh, be on the stage wow that's amazing and how do you think this brand is going to be in the future what do you expect like uh, I actually now I you're expect, here at Bangkok International yeah, Fashion Week. Actually, I expect for everyone to be on this stage. Yeah. From what I learned from the school, right? The school have a goal to be bring the Bangkok or Thailand to become hub of design of Asia. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I would love to see all my friends on the stage. I mean, on the same stage or on every stage, right? Mm -hmm. To become more, more uh, powerful, more, yeah, more powerful, more brave, more popular, more popular. brave. Yeah, exactly. So we can build environment in Bangkok to become a hub of design. Yeah, definitely. And and where you recommend other people that watching you like see your fashion design and stuff and want to be like you? What do you give some advice to them? What would you like to give some advice? I will give like what I thought. Yeah, yeah. In my perspective, right? Everyone have a dream to do. Definitely. So, at the first, like I mentioned before that I, I am I am like just a guy that love fashion, mm -hmm. and and just not like not stop the catching my dream. So I go for it. I never know how to create the collection. I never know how to drawing. I'm an start engineer. Start from zero, right? Yeah, I'm start from zero. So wow. everyone can do it. I can do it, everyone can do it. So, yeah, just be brave and do it. Last but not least, can you tell like, how to be a good designer? How to, a definition of a good designer? Firstly, you have to be stay creative. Get inspired. Stay creative, yeah. that's the word. Get inspired. Get inspired. And be enjoying what you're doing now. Exactly. So, everything, every environment, in your environment, you have to build it up in every every perspective, design, mood. Whenever you build the collection or or build the show, yeah, have to be creative. So, yeah, 
because fashion is very sensitive, right? Yes. And uh, you face any difficulties during the process by cutting and stuff. You see difficulties that like, encounter. Yes. It? Every work you have to, yeah, go like make it. So uh, difficulty that I made, I made right. The color, the pattern, everything is hard. Prototype. Every piece that we make, mm. at least we have to try on the prototype, two or three. And apart from your brand, do you have any like other brands that you like? For Thai designer. For Thai designer, exactly. And why? Wow. <laughs> Actually, I like so dark. I like. Mm. I like so many brands like yeah. Greyhound, like. Why? Because they, they stay true to their style. Yeah, they they stick to their concept and they. They always make it great. They have their style. They never lost their fo like they their concept. They never lost their focus. It's very nice to talk to you. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Let's have a short break. Then we'll come back and talk more. And today we are here with another special guest. May you introduce yourself, please? Yeah, I'm Nippon Pilar, the, the, the designer from like Pilar Studio brand. So, yeah. yep. so I have heard that you graduated from Chanapat Institute, right? Yep. Can right. you tell? As please, how do you feel after graduated and yeah. how it's like to be part of the products of this prestigious yeah. school? Shinapati is a part of um, the school that fulfilled my dream and mm -hmm. to complete my, uh, to pursue my passion because I worked in the corporate before oh, and I'm seeking something that really uh, passionate for and Shinapati teach, taught me how to um, integrate the passion, the dream and the inspiration into the reality. So I choose the fashion design as Shinapati. And what do you love the most about this institution? What, yeah. what do you love about it the most? It, um, I think it's about the thinking process in global globalization. Mm -hmm. So uh, the international, international, yeah, international like lecturer, the professor, they have another view that can teach in Thailand, but oh. they still we still um, using some inspiration from locals and to make it global. So I how see. to mix like local and global together? That's really impressed me. And today we're here at Bangkok International Fashion yep. Week with yep. your brand. And what is the inspiration of your brand? The yep. background? Yep. For this collection, actually my brand is a customized tailor, a men's mm -hmm. design specialist. And this collection I inspire from the gentleman culture, oh. from Congo, oh. the Congo, the Africans. So that's a very poorest countries, but the gentlemen there, they're trying to like to saving their money, their income, in order to have a very nice suit, a very good colors. So they're very vivid, and that's really inspired me. So this collection we call sub the Sapua. Oh, that's the reason why this collection yep. is the color is more yep. bright, colorful. That's yep. the reason. Very solid. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, very fun. So. And this collection, what is the most important thing for it to yep. be a good designer? Um, for me, uh, the fashion is not just about the fashion and trend. It's about the personalities. How the how you and how my clients can comfortable and can present the outfit that really fit to their attitude mm -hmm. and their personalities and their career. So that's the most important of the fashion that really cover their bodies mm. and they can proud and they feel comfortable to go outside with uh, represent their personalities. That's the most important for me. Yeah. <laughs> and I heard that you choose like different type of model walking for your show. Yep. Why that? Uh, I'm talking about the culture. Mm. Fashion is a trend. It comes and it goes. Mm. And one day it will come back again. But this, we're talking about the culture of the Sapua, of the people that really want to represent the outfit. So this time I'm selecting, um, I call my muse, yeah. not a model. The muse is the ideal human, the ideal people that I'm thinking. And then I design the clothes to fit for them. So cool. uh, I have like the re retirement and hostel and the woman, the madame, that really survived from the so breast cancer. So everyone have their stories. Behind. Yeah, right. Especially the madame that she survived from the breast cancer at age 50, and now she's 70. Wow. She inspired the people and the women to strong and to do something better for their life. And the gentleman, the, the grandpa, yeah. he's really passionate about art, but he's the Chinese family. He cannot wow. do some fashion and art in that age. But this today, he pursued his dream to be a model. So it's the first time for him. So everyone got a barista, uh, a, dis a DJ, and everyone got their own career, not a model. So this time it's really ha happy yeah. for me. Yeah. I 
<laughs> I'm so proud of you too. Yeah, and you. Uh, do you face any difficulties during the process, like no. doing this show? Because no. it's a huge show, no. so you have a pressure, right? No. Can you tell about things that challenge you the most? It is about you know, how to understand each of my meals mm -hmm. and how I can decide the clothes and make them feel like fun. I have to be fun first. Mm -hmm. So that, that's, the, that's the beginning of the design collection. I have to enjoy what I'm doing mm -hmm. and I have to enjoy every moment that, that we are presenting until the end of the show. Now I think my muse and me and my brand are become friends. So that's, that's, that's the successful of my collection radio. And as a young successful entrepreneur, what is your opinion towards the fashion industry yeah. in Thailand? Um, I think we, we shall like, um, talking about the bigger picture, Thailand is really representing the creative countries. A lot of my foreign friends are tourists. They see the creativity in Thailand and in Bangkok, yeah. not just like fashion. It's about the craftsmanship. It's about mm -hmm. everything that you can yes. go beyond your imagination and you can mm -hmm. use your effort and your creativity in it. That's, that's really like symbolic of Bangkok, I think, especially Thai people. And you yeah. think our brand, our Thai brand, yeah. can meet the international standard? Of course, of, of course. course. You believe that <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, I believe. Too. Yeah. yeah. And you have anything to say as a young successful entrepreneur, how the people that looking at you want to be like you one yeah. day? What is the advice for them? Um, actually, um, I, I want to tell the stories okay. and how the fashion and how the craftsmanship that we put into details of the, the suits, the tailor. We have the team at mm -hmm. Uncle who making the very nice suit. So every detail we carrying and we put that detail and we put that our attention into the clothes, mm -hmm. like the lining, the stitching, and every everything. Thing. Yep, yeah. And I think the customer will feel when they're wearing my clothes. That's mm -hmm. important. And you think branding is also important in this these days, right? In order to sell and yep. Yep. produce a good stuff. Yep. Can you advise them about branding stuff? Yep. Um, these days, there's a lot of competitions and. Mm -hmm. Exactly. tons of brands around us right. and I think the most important is you have to uh, you don't need to lose yourself you have to be strong and you have to be to be consistent on what you are doing I'm doing a men's brand, I'm doing a tailor I have to study deeper how's the men's changing from time to time and each corner of the world the gentlemen they have their own different lifestyle I have I want to travel I want to understand them and I want to decide use that as an inspiration to representing my brand so legit yep. branding needs to come from like wild perspective right yeah it was very nice to talk to you yep. and can you tell the, for the people who are interested to study at Chanapat yep. if they're looking at you and want yep. to be part yep. this school is suits them right yeah right and most of the people they worry that they have like a um, yeah. full-time job and yeah. they, they think that okay I have a dream but I don't have a time but um, that's, that's, that's not the obstacle oh. I used to be a banker before. Really? I was working for the bank financial com institution for like seven wow. years. And I think I, I still got a few of free time. I want to pursue my dream. And then I go to Chenapat. And that really fulfilled the rest of my life already. Yeah. yeah. It just like starts. Yeah. That's, That's the difficulty. very nice yeah. to talk to you. And yeah. I'm so congr yeah. uh, congratulations for everything. Thank you so today. much. Yeah. It's very nice. Hope to talk you enjoy the show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you for such a wonderful story. It was very nice to talk to you. Thank yep. you very much. Thank you so much. Bangkok International Fashion Week is another top fashion event in Thailand where designers get to showcase their works and talents. And from what we heard from our guests today, the Thai designers are equally talented and creative as international designers. And of course, this proves that Thai designers has a long, bright future ahead. And that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you for tuning in. So what, Deepak?